So today we are ready to go camping. It's around lunchtime. I just had something to eat. I need to go pick up the girls from school because they only had a half day today. I didn't want them to miss all of it. Jessica is going uh, because I asked her parents. They said it was it was fine. They'd be like more than okay with it. Um, as far as the Taylor thing goes, I'm gonna try my best not to think about it for these two days that we're on this little mini vacation. And uh, you know what? At the end of the day, it's his decision what he decides to do. But we are going to go uh, to the beach and we are going to have fun. So I have a lot of supplies with us already. Um, I brought some fishing rods just in case the kids decide to go fishing or whatever. I think it'll be fun. Um, brought a lighter. So we have like a little campfire, a slingshot because I thought it would be fun. Maybe a bit dangerous, but still fun. We have our guitar and some potions just to just for the fun of it um one so that we could swim and one so we could see at night because we're gonna be staying up late telling ghost stories oh it's gonna be so scary i am so looking forward to this all of us are going and you know what we haven't done this in such a long time especially since willow's been around so i am very excited uh let's go ahead and get to the school i feel bad interrupting echo <sighs> I hope she doesn't mind. I think all the kids are in there as well. Can I sneak a peek in there? I don't want Riddle to see because I know she'll probably wave or something. Oh, whoa, Echo saw me. Okay, okay, that just got awkward. Let's go ahead and uh, go in there then. Um, um, hey, Echo, can uh, you come out here for a second? Sure. One moment, class. Please behave. I can hear everything going on. That includes you, Riddle. Don't start acting up, okay? Um, I'll wait for you outside. Just kind of finish up whatever you were doing and I'll wait out here. Ugh, I hope she didn't mind that too much. Hey, Echo, thanks for coming out here. Um, I'm just here to pick up the girls from class. I'm so sorry to disturb you. Okay, no problem. Just have them finish their school work at home before class. Okay, I'll make sure that everything gets done and stuff. That shouldn't be an issue. Um, it just depends how much it is, but I'll make sure it, it gets all completed, I promise. Oh, and also, just how's Riddle doing in school? I haven't really gotten an update or anything like that, so I was just wanted to make sure everything's going okay with her. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about that, but I don't want to keep you here any longer. Oh, don't no problem. We don't. We're not really rushing or anything like that. We have all day... Why, is there something wrong? Well, Riddle has been acting up in class a bit more than normal. How so? That's a bit unusual. I know she's kind of a bit on the hyper side. She has a lot of energy, but kind of surprised to hear that she's acting up. Her and Jessica together are a handful. They're always very chatty. Okay, um, I could go ahead and speak to them. I know, you know, like most kids, when they sit next to their friends, they usually end up talking and stuff, but... I'll I'll speak to her. It's not that big of a problem right now. I just want to make sure it doesn't get any worse. I completely understand. Um, like I said, I'll go ahead and just I'll talk to her. But thanks for telling me. And just feel free to come meet with me if you, there's ever any issues. Just call me or go visit me. Like if there's any, no matter how small the problem is, just let me know and I'll help out. I really do appreciate you being the teacher to all of these children thank you it's hard telling the queen her granddaughter is misbehaving <laughs> why that's that's silly i've known you for so long echo just treat me like a normal grandparent i shouldn't get any special treatment and neither should riddle she should learn that just because she's the queen's granddaughter doesn't mean she could do whatever she wants okay we will do have fun for, on your mini vacation you deserve it Thank you. I can't wait, but I'll let you get back into class. I'll go ahead and get the girls and um, I promise they'll have their work done and I promise to talk to Riddle about her little chattiness. And again, thank you, Echo. Okay, so I just picked up the girls. They're actually all waiting by the little statue right there. I just thought I'd grab some cookies really quick because I think it'll be a nice little snack to have. And we're heading off to our wonderful vacation and I just cannot wait. And everybody should be ready. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Alrighty. All right, hi guys. Um, So I'm assuming everybody has what they need. Jessica, hope you said bye to your parents. 
Hi, just I'm doing well. I'm always so polite. Um, but yes, is everybody ready to go? Um, do we have all our stuff? This is the last time I'm gonna ask before we leave. Good, mom. Yes, Ryan. What's wrong? Is it okay if I bring a friend as well? Yeah, sure. But um, why are you saying a friend? Why do you say it like that? Um, is there something going on? Well, mom, I'm not a kid anymore. I guess I know you're not a kid. I know you're getting a lot older. But what are you trying to say? I've been talking to this girl and I really like her. So you're telling me you have a girlfriend. Why are you being so awkward about it? Just, just tell me. Well, it's weird telling your mom you have a girlfriend. Is it really? Why are boys so weird? Yes, she can come with us. It's fine. And I'm going to finally get to meet the girl that swept Ryan off his feet. Oh my gosh, mom, please don't embarrass me. Okay, okay, I won't, I promise. Let's just go, everyone. So now that Ryan has his little friend coming with us, we're all ready to go. Ah, so we're finally here at our beautiful little beach resort type of thing. And it's really, really nice. Everybody seems to be enjoying it so far. Richard's out there fishing. I don't know if he caught anything, but I hope... Make sure you catch a lot of big fish because we're going to need some fish to eat. Um, I think Willow brought some food as well. So she has it all set up out here. We have a nice little campfire for the nighttime. Uh, Willow's sunbathing. The girls are swimming. I made sure to tell them not to go past that little line over there because I don't want them drowning or anything like that. And Willow's supposed to be watching them, but she's too busy getting a tan. And then over there we have Ryan with his girlfriend and he's dancing he's he's so happy with her and i'm really happy that he's happy over here we have our little a little sunbathing area we have a nice little shade in case you don't want to turn into a little lobster over here we have this nice little like kitchen slash bar and we have everything you need in there and then upstairs it's just kind of more of a sleeping area it's nothing fancy we just have our beds here for everybody and then um, a nice little bathroom with a bathtub and then you could look out in the ocean while you take a bath which is kind of quite nice i think all right so we have all of this going on over here and I just want to go ahead and sunbathe as well and just relax and not be stressed out for once. I just kind of want to just chill, to be honest. Um, so this is going to be a nice little getaway and it should be loads of fun. And we have our guitars. I could play the guitar for them and everything. But maybe they don't want me to play the guitar. And I'm going to shoot and show the girls how to use the slingshot. Look at this. Ready? You ready? I'm doing good, Riddle. Look, you ready? Look. Do you want me to see this? Want to see me shoot this cow? Ready? How good do you think my aiming is? You think it's bad? Let's find out. Oh, that was horrible. Grandma doesn't have the skill she used to have. <gasps> Did you see that? Okay, but I'm going to let you play with this. Actually, no. I'll let you play with it a little bit later when I can actually watch you, but... This is dangerous. Don't play with it. Don't do what grandma just did, okay? That was very bad influence. But have fun swimming. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and just relax. And um, we'll have a little campfire or something at nighttime. Actually, first let me go check on Willow. I don't know. She just kind of seems a little bit off today to me. Um, hey, Willow. I hope you're having fun and I hope you put your sunscreen on because I don't want you getting sunburned and then complaining to me about it later. Are you okay? I'm sad dad couldn't make it. Yeah, um, I understand. I know you really wanted him here, but just look around and look how everybody's having so much fun. You just you have to enjoy it, especially for Riddle. She's having the time of her life right now. You can't let him ruin that. You know, he wasn't feeling that well and he was feeling a bit sick and I just thought it would be best if he went to go see a doctor. And after everything that happened in the village, we don't really have a doctor accessible there. So I thought he would go out of town with a few of the guards and make sure he takes care of himself. That's all it is. I know. I just wanted the whole family here. I understand. 
but you just have to enjoy what we have now. Everybody else is here. And like I said, you just can't let him ruin that. Just enjoy it. We haven't had this trip. We haven't had a trip like this since you were born. Just this is going to be great. Just enjoy it, okay? I'm going to leave you alone now, but try to cheer up, okay? <sighs> Why do I have to lie for him? He it's not fair what he's doing to these kids. It's not fair that, that Willow's going to have her whole trip ruined because Taylor isn't here. It's not right. I'm going to have to make sure she tears off and just has fun and let's go. She can't be depressed about him not being here. At the same time, I'm glad he's not because I don't trust him around our kids anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and get some food ready for everybody and maybe we can have something to eat soon. All right, so we just kind of finished eating, told some ghost stories. It was so nice watching the sunset and just relaxing. It didn't go that great with Lily and I, and that's his girlfriend. And I'm trying my best to be as polite as possible because that's Ryan's first girlfriend. And I want him to know that, like, I'm trying, but honestly, she's so rude. And I kept trying to, like, tell her joke, shake her hand, give her some food. And she was just having none of it. And at this point, I'm kind of like, I don't know what to do. So I'm going to kind of keep my distance for now. I'm thinking maybe she's just tired. Maybe she's not used to to all of this or I don't know. But uh, yeah, it didn't really go that well. Ryan's still having a good time though. I'm going to try giving her a cookie again or maybe some watermelon. Everybody likes watermelon. Do you? Oh, wow. I actually needed one. Of oh, oh, do you like it? Do you want some bread as well? A gift for me? How nice. Oh, is it now she decides to be nice? Want some more watermelon? Glad you like it. What made you think I would like this? Because you liked it before. Uh oh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you want to want to hear a joke? That's hilarious. I'm glad you thought it was funny. Um... Do you want to just talk? Maybe I'll tell you a story. That's my mother you're talking about. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to offend your mother at all. Uh, I suppose we, yeah, the weather is nice, especially for a beach day. It was kind of nice little breeze and everything. But um, Lily, I'm just going to go ahead and give you one more watermelon. And then I'm going to leave you alone. Leave you with Ryan, who's um, dancing his little heart out. <laughs> Have fun. Um, hey, Richard, did you catch any fish, by the way? Yes, they are huge. They should be done cooking now. Okay, um, well, I'll go get them and then, uh, I will have something to eat. Wait, ugh, cow! Leave her alone! Why is this cow here? I don't want to have to kill you in front of everybody. Can you just go in the water? I'm sorry, Jessica. Um, come here. Yeah, just stay here. I'm sorry about the cow. If it bothers you again, we'll slingshot it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, let's go see the fish. Mmm, tasty, tasty fish. All right. Oh, they're not in here. Okay, let's check in here. Ah, here they are. Perfect. I guess he forgot to put them in there. All right. So now we have eight. Do we have enough for everybody? One. I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not bad. At least we're all going to get some fish. All right, let me just relax near everybody. And we could huddle up and tell more stories. Yes? How are you two girls doing? Doing good? Good, all right. And then Willow, are you feeling a little bit better? I, I hope so. I really hope you're feeling better. Riddle, do you want some watermelon? Grandpa's here. What? No, he's not. Um, he didn't come with us. Where is he? Oh my gosh. Just, um, everybody just stay here. I'm going to go check on him. Um, maybe someone should get Jessica and Lily to bed. They seem really tired. Uh, just, just stay here, okay? I'll, I'll be right back. What is he doing here? And how did he know we were here? Why are you here? 